So yeah, I've been on HRT for a year and a half. They're still there. Everybody. Welcome back. Yes, again, I vanished for a week. I've been deep cleaning my house and becoming poison ivy or something. But yeah, so, um, I've been busy. But, um, I did make a video last week, um, because I was, you know, doing stuff. But, um, the Thursday before last, uh, was my one and a half year anniversary on HRT, which is just crazy. It was a year ago that I came on here and I was like, oh my god, I got boobs! So, uh, yeah. I grew boobs. And it was interesting because everything was kind of new and exciting and different and things were changing in ways that they never had before. And now it's just kind of the way things are. If you actually compare it to last year, these look a little smaller, but uh, that's because I've lost like 50 pounds, so I'll take it. Um, but as far as, like, really updating you on what kind of major changes I'm seeing with HRT, it's really not so dramatic anymore as just a slow progression, let's say. Um, I mean, I've been posting a lot recently, um, when I do, like, my Transition Tuesday updates that really are highlighting um, not so much what I look like pre-transition as kind of now documenting what I look like earlier in my transition. And it's subtle but severe at the same time. And um, it's interesting how comfortable I'm becoming just existing. I mean, I'm... I still have not had an opportunity to take care of my facial hair, and that drives me absolutely bonkers. But, um, yesterday was an interesting day in that, um, I went out without makeup on for a time last night, and was fine. Um, if you don't know, I work at a spa, and um, I finally got around to getting a massage, which was delightful. But, you know, I'm laying there with my face down for an hour. They have a nice linen, linen covering where you rest your forehead, um, and that would have just looked like a nightmare if I left my makeup on, and uh, so would I have my face. So, before I went and got the massage, I washed everything off. Of course, halfway through wiping my face, I'm like, what the hell are you doing? But I calmed down. Then proceeded to walk out into the lobby with my co-workers there, and they saw me with no makeup on for the first time. And then I went and got the massage, and my other co-worker who was doing the massage saw me with no makeup on for the first time. And then I remembered that I had to go to ShopRite, because... Well, because... I, I needed that plant. Don't judge me. I had a gift card and I needed it. But anyway, so I knew that I wasn't going to get there today and I wanted to get the plant and then I remembered I had no makeup on. So I just did it. I mean, it was one thing being at work with my friends and they all know I'm trans and, you know, okay, so yeah, 
we know you've got stubble underneath the makeup. You've discussed it with us before. It's one thing. But I walked into ShopRite. I actually tried to do the self-checkout, but you can't use the gift card in the self-checkout, so I had to actually go and get rung up by somebody, and she was like, oh, hi. Have a nice n night, ma'am. And then I proceeded to drive home, and um, as it turns out, one of my headlights is out, so I got pulled over twice. And both of the young officers who pulled me over were very nice and very and very polite. And they're like, have a nice night, ma'am. I'm like, thank you. And then at that point, I said, well, I'm starving. And I know that there's not really anything at home for me to make for dinner. So fuck it. I'm going to stop at Wawa. And I had a nice conversation with the girl behind the deli. By the way, if you're on the keto diet, and you're really hankering for like a hoagie or something, um, go make a customized bowl, cause, oh, really good. Anyway, but, the world didn't burn down, everything was fine, and I got home, I looked in the mirror, yeah, I mean, there was a slight shadow, you know, razor bumps, but, I just look like me. And that was really nice. And that's kind of the biggest change this past year is that it's not so much the obvious physical things that are happening at this point, but the more subtle nuance changes which are allowing me to feel comfortable in my own skin. I mean, losing the weight that I've been losing has helped. I was looking in the mirror yesterday and was kind of going like, what is this like long neck thing I've got going on? That didn't used to be a thing, but it is now. And, um, yeah. Things are good on that front. And as far as the facial hair situation, which was the one thing last year I was very adamant that, no, HRT is not going to fix for you. Um, beard hair. Again, it does help slow um, the growth of facial hair. However, it does not eliminate that. So that's something that um, if you have um, facial hair, especially if you have thick facial hair, there are other interventions that you're going to have to do. I have to get that taken care of. and. And since right now we're not going to be getting any surgery, I'm going to be putting my money into that. So that's what I'm going to focus on right now. Because even more so than me feeling comfortable with that situation, um, when I walk out the door, nobody sees that. Um, they see this. And... Um, if I can get up in the morning, pull this into a nice ponytail, um, and walk out the door, that would be nice. So, where are you on your journey? Whether it's your weight loss, your transition, what's going on with you? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, do the normal things like share, subscribe, and uh, go listen to the goddamn podcast. It's really good. In the meanwhile, I'm going to take care of my plants and uh, clean my house. Again, I have a two-year-old. You always have to clean the house. But other than that, um, I'll see you around.